Good morning, Stingrays. So I'm making up a couple of videos for those lost lessons we had while I was at home. So now this lesson is all about area of triangle. Not a very difficult thing to understand, especially because you know this one. Okay, what's this? This is a rectangle. You know what the area of a rectangle is. It is base times height. Some of you may think length times width. Change that philosophy to base times height. So when we move on to 3D objects, we have a better understanding. So the area of this rectangle is base times height. So let's take a look at this triangle. You'll notice something very distinctive about this triangle. Okay, I even have it almost written right here. A triangle is. Yeah. Look at the rectangle, look at the triangle. What's the big deal? What's the, what's the relationship? Okay, let me get a nice little red marker here. What's the relationship between this triangle and this rectangle? Let me show you here. Can you see it? Still can't see it? All right, let me show you over here. Can you see it now? Can you actually, can you literally see it? Yeah, you can literally see it. Okay, can you see it now? This rectangle is essentially two triangles. This triangle is, triangle is, half, half of a rectangle. Okay, a triangle, sorry, a triangle is half of a rectangle. Okay, that's the, that's the whole thing. Okay, you take this rectangle, fold it in half, you end up with a triangle. And what did I just fold that into? I just folded it into half for a triangle. Well, what's the formula for a rectangle? What's the formula again for a rectangle? Base times height. Formula for a, tri for a rectangle is base times height. I fold it in half to get a triangle. Well, what do you think the area of a triangle is going to be? Base times height, fold it in half. Base times height, divide it in half. Okay? So it is base times height divided in half. Divided by 2. Okay? That's what it means when you divide something in half. You can simply put a 2 underneath it. You can take anything you want, any multiplication, any problem in the world. And if you wanted to half it, you divide it by 2. Okay? You want half of pi? Pi divided by 2, essentially. Okay? So, the triangle, triangle is half of a rectangle. So I take the formula for a rectangle, divide it by 2. No matter what the numbers are. That's just what you do for area of a rectangle, or area of a triangle. Take the area, formula for area of a, of a rectangle, divide it by 2. It might not always be, you know, exactly the same. The numbers may not always match up. But that is the formula, okay? That is the formula for area of triangle. Formulas mean that no matter what the shape is, no matter what the numbers are, you take this, plug in the numbers, you get your answer, okay? That's what geometry is all about. It's all about formulas, okay? You got to know these formulas to do the math. I will give them to you on the test, okay? But you got to know formulas for geometry and amount. Hmm?